Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another end of 2021 Vlogging Through History special. And as promised, today we are going to take a look at some of my favorite historical content channels on this platform, YouTube, uh, that I've enjoyed over the last year. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to do a, a top 10 countdown, starting with number 10, working my way all the way down to number one, and just share with you some of my favorite uh, content creators here on YouTube that are historical related. Now, these are not necessarily my favorite channels to do reactions to uh, or my favorite channels uh, just because they created one or two uh, great videos that I really love. These are overall just the ones I enjoy watching on my own because they help me learn learn something I didn't know or they create content I love or uh, in some way have inspired me to become a better content creator myself. So with that in mind, uh, if you are new to the channel, I would encourage you to check out uh, my original content as well as my reaction content. We do daily reaction content uh, and I create uh, original stuff whenever I am able to. Uh, please make sure your notifications are turned on if you enjoy this and you want to see more of it. Uh, and if you enjoy this at the end, please hit that like button. Let's go ahead and dive in to our top 10 uh, historical content creators on YouTube for 2021. Number 10, Mr. Beat. Uh, well, one of the pleasures of having my own YouTube channel that has grown uh, over the last year is that I occasionally get to connect with other content creators and find out just what awesome people they are. And Matt Beat is one of those people. He reached out to me after I did my very first reaction to one of his videos and he could not have been kinder, even though I was a little critical of him in that video. Uh, so I'm thankful to have gotten to know him and I'm looking forward to doing some collaborations with him. But uh, Matt has some great stuff. Uh, he has a very similar uh, interest level to me as far as uh, U.S. presidents go. It's one of my favorite topics to discuss. And he's got a lot of content related to the U.S. presidents, but he's also got some very unique original stuff. For example, comparing two states to each other, comparing two cities to each other, two countries, uh, talking about uh, Supreme Court decisions and how they impacted the country. Uh, he dives into some topics that I don't necessarily get into as far as modern politics go, uh, but he does it really well. Uh, Matt knows what he's talking about. Uh, I don't always agree with him, uh, but I absolutely respect him uh, and I respect the content that he creates and the uh, ability he has to take information and present it in such a way that makes it interesting. Simple history. Well, if you want to learn about a variety of topics, but you don't want to invest a ton of time in those topics, Simple History is probably the channel for you. They use animation. Most of their videos are around five minutes long, some of them even less, some a couple minutes more. But for the most part, in less than 10 minutes, you can learn all the overview about a topic. They've got stuff about rail guns in World War I. You can learn about how long a person stayed alive after being beheaded by a guillotine. They have a video about Desmond Doss. They've got stuff about the attack of the dead men, the Titanic, the Tiananmen Square massacre. Uh, all of these different topics that come from a wide variety of time periods in history uh, without having to go into a real deep dive about that topic. Number eight, the American Battlefield Trust. You guys hear me talk about this organization all the time. They exist uh, to preserve the battlefields of the United States uh, from the Revolution, War of 1812, uh, and the American Civil War, uh, and then not only preserve that land, but then educate about what happened there. I've had the pleasure of getting to know some of the men uh, who work for the American Battlefield Trust, including Chris White and uh, my friend Gary Edelman. Uh, you've heard me talk about both of them. They have some great videos that I have done reactions to on the channel that give you overviews about battles or about wars or about topics, but they also have a ton of great stuff uh, where they go and visit those battlefields. Uh, and they're doing a lot of that content. Right now, they're uh, exploring the battlefields of the Western Theater of the American Civil War in places like Western Tennessee, Shiloh, Nashville, Stones River, places like that. So uh, if you enjoy anything related to the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, or the American Civil War, and the places associated with that, you have to check out the American Battlefield Trust. Number seven, Yarn Hub. 
Now, they're very similar to Simple History in that they have animated videos that tend to be on the shorter side, around 10 minutes. They cover a variety of topics. Now, theirs tend to focus much more on military history, especially World War II, uh, but some World War I content and others uh, as well. Uh, but they have some really fantastic content about things uh, like the Christmas truce of 1914, uh, the battle like the uh, the Tirpitz versus the Tall Boy bombs that were dropped to destroy Tirpitz. Uh, you have stuff on Eric Hartman, who was the uh, German World War II flying ace that had by far the most aerial victories. Uh, and they also do a lot of cooperation with Sabaton. So you see Yarnhub stuff in quite a few of Sabaton's uh, music videos. So I really love them. They're also very supportive of uh, vlogging through history. Uh, so that's just a bonus for me. But one of my favorite channels this year was Yarn Hub. Number six, the operations room. Now they do not have a ton of content on their channel yet, but what they have is fantastic. It offers you kind of a top down view at some of the most uh, fascinating uh, events of the 20th century, uh, mostly 20th century warfare. Uh, you know, we're talking about things like the Battle of the Solomon Islands, uh, Savo Island, Desert Storm. Uh, we're looking at things like uh, Easy Company, their battle in Carantan, or their attack on Braycore Manor. So sometimes it's just, you know, uh, small unit stuff. Sometimes it's naval battles, the uh, sinking of the Bismarck. Uh, but they just have a lot of great content that shows you not only strategically what was happening, but from a tactical level, what is going on and in a way that makes it very easy to understand. Number five, Sabaton history. Well, you guys know that one of the great pleasures of having this channel in the past year was my discovery of Sabaton. Uh, the Swedish uh, metal band that covers historical topics of all shapes and sizes uh, has become uh, one of my go-to things when I'm in the car uh, and want to listen to something that's entertaining but also a lot of fun. And um, Sabaton History uh, is the companion to that, where they go into the history behind the songs that they've written. And they do that with my absolute favorite historian, Indy Nidell, who I have actually been corresponding with over the last week or two. Uh, and has been he's been offering me a lot of great tips on what to prepare for for my trip to France that I hope still happens. Uh, and he's just been super gracious and kind and I found out has been subscribed to this channel for quite a while now. So shout out to you, Indy. Thank you so much for your kindness, but also for your great historical content. Number four, Epic History TV. Well, there's another channel that covers a variety of topics, not just military history, but also the history of things like the Apollo program, uh, where the United States put men on the moon for the first time. Uh, and again, they cover things not only from a strategic standpoint, but also on a tactical level. And so you guys know that I've done their Napoleonic Wars series, uh, and they talk about what's happening on a grand scale, but then they dive in and look at individual battles and show what was happening and their presentations style is very good. The narration is fantastic. I just love everything about Epic History TV and how they present history to us. Number three, The Great War. Well, my friend Indy Nidell appears on this list for a second time. You guys have seen me uh, do some reactions to this channel. They began the process several years ago of looking at The Great War, what we know now as World War I, week by week, talking about what was happening in that given week exactly 100 years earlier. Now, in addition to that, they also had a number of specials talking about specific topics uh, and giving a lot of background information. And I think it is the definitive channel for learning about the history of World War I. They have now a companion to that that is in the middle of being produced. Uh, that is the World War II channel that Indy is now working with, and I highly recommend them as well. They didn't make this list only because I haven't really gotten too much into that channel yet. But the Great War channel has been my go-to place for learning all all I can about the events of World War One. Number two, extra history. Well, the channel is actually called Extra Credits, but uh, they do a variety of things besides just history, but their their history stuff is called Extra History. Uh, you've seen that I've covered more of their videos on this channel than anybody else, and there's a reason for that. First of all, they cover a variety of topics. I mean, we're talking stuff on Rasputin. We're talking the stuff we did on Admiral Yi uh, on the uh, July crisis that led to World War One. We've looked at their stuff uh, on... 
uh, things like the Bismarck and Otto von Bismarck as well. And there's so much there that I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of all that their channel has to offer. They use animation. They use a compelling story. They put it all together in a way that I think is the go-to channel if you want to learn about a specific historical event or topic. All right, well, before we get to our number one entry on this top 10 list, I do want to talk real quick about a few honorable mentions. One of those, of course, has to be oversimplified. Now, I did not list oversimplified in the top 10 for the sole reason that they just don't have that much content. And I understand the reason why. It takes a long time to put one of their videos together. And when they do make a video, it's among the most popular historic videos on the internet and with good reason. It's entertaining, it's hilarious, it's also educational, and it provides a fantastic platform for us uh, to talk further about some pretty interesting topics that a lot of people don't know about. They cover you know important things like World War I and World War II and the American Civil War and the Napoleonic Wars and things like that. But they also cover kind of obscure things that people don't know a lot about, like the Football War or the Pig War, the most recent one that came out. So huge fan of Oversimplified, and I know a lot of you guys are too. Our next honorable mention goes to Kings and Generals, another channel that our supporters of this channel um, have been subscribed to me for quite a while now, and I'm grateful for their support. I haven't covered a lot of their stuff on the channel yet, though I expect to cover a lot more of it in the coming year. They tend to focus more on earlier periods of history that I'm not as well versed in, and so I haven't dove too much into their videos, but I plan to in the very near future. I highly recommend that you check them out. Uh, they do, again, very similar to what a channel like Epic History TV does. They do a good job of presenting things from a strategic standpoint, but also on a tactical level. And they do have some newer stuff as well. They talk about things like the war in the Pacific, uh, Pearl Harbor, but they've got a lot of stuff about Caesar. Uh, they've even got some stuff that isn't necessarily historic, uh, like doing stuff on the War of the Last Alliance in Lord of the Rings, which is really, really cool stuff. I encourage you to check them out. Another honorable mention, the Armchair Historian. You've seen me cover several of his videos. Great young guy who knows his stuff, is very poised and presents it in a really good way, uh, and uh, has obviously done his homework and done his research and knows what he's talking about. Definitely check out his channel. And our final honorable mention goes to history buffs. Now, you guys hear me talk all the time about my love for movies that are centered on events and people in history, uh, even if sometimes those movies aren't necessarily historically accurate. As long as they give us a love and an interest in that topic, I'm all for it. Well, History Buffs takes those movies, those TV series, and talks about the history behind them, talks about the accuracies or the inaccuracies of those uh, movies and TV series. So if you're ever curious about, you know, does the, the movie Braveheart really get the history right or not? Uh, that's the place to go if you want to learn more about the real history and then what uh, was presented in the movie, whether real or not. All right, let's do it. Number one, the history underground. You guys may have heard me mention many times that I created this channel, Vlogging Through History, initially to be a place for me to share my visits to historic sites. That is my passion. That is my first love when it comes to YouTube. And that is why I have this channel. The uh, reaction videos have become something that have helped grow this channel that people love, and I will continue to do them as long as I have this channel. But those historic site videos are my first love. With that said, the gold standard for how a historic site video should be done absolutely belongs to JD at the History Underground. Uh, I discovered his channel uh, almost a year ago, and I have been in love with it ever since. Uh, I've had the uh, opportunity since then to become friends with JD. We worked together uh, down in Georgia when I got to be a part of his cleanup project uh, on Curahy, uh, where we got to stay in the barracks uh, down uh, in the place where the Men of Easy Company trained. We're hoping to go to Normandy together next year. We've had a chance to talk a lot in between. Uh, we interact probably on a weekly basis now. Uh, I've learned a lot from him, and uh, I really have come to value his friendship as a fellow YouTuber who has very similar interests, but also a very similar story and background to me. 
Uh, so if you love historic site videos, uh, if you want to learn more about history by seeing the places history happened, there is no better place to do it on YouTube than the History Underground. Well, I could go on all day about my favorite YouTube channels. There are so many more out there that I didn't mention uh, that are definitely worthy of your time and your subscription, uh, but those are just some of my favorite over the last year. I will put links in the description of this video to every single one of those channels uh, so that you can check them out for yourself. Use the comment section below. Let me know what you agree with, what you think I missed, What's a favorite channel that you have that maybe I haven't talked about? Throw that link in the description and let us know uh, so that we can learn more about uh, history in all of its forms and all of its presentation styles and find something that we can fall in love with for the first time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.